hello and welcome to today's video today we are going to be talking about me and my body and my life and things that happened to me over time so I have a little notebook here if you're wondering what I'm looking at this has all the points I want to hit at and yeah so first off if you're triggered by body stuff don't listen I'm gonna start from my childhood and then work my way up and I will show you pictures and everything and you're gonna learn so much about me and it's gonna be so fun okay so let's just start from the very beginning so if you're just finding my channel if you know me in real life whatever if you know me since I was little you know I used to be obese if that word is like hurtful for you in some way I'm sorry but medically I was obese and I had been since I was really little and then all the way up until middle school um, probably even even a little bit of my high school I was still obese so I realized I was overweight when I was about probably five or six when I started kindergarten and I realized I was the biggest girl there I wasn't like huge obviously because I was still a little kid but I was bigger than everybody else was but it didn't really affect me until like third grade when people started to make comments about it because I was like clearly bigger than everybody else and I just remember we were doing like a jumping thing and measuring how far we could jump with our feet together and I had jumped and this kid made a comment he's like did you see when Sarah jumped the whole room shaked and even the, like I clearly heard I looked at him he saw the teacher was like do you want me to talk to him like do you want to go talk to him and I'm like no because to me like it was true like I just didn't want to deal with it you know like whatever and then another comment that was made in the third grade was when um, we were looking at some magazine and it had like pictures of girls in bikinis in it not like the whole thing but it was like a magazine you know and this girl who is also bigger was like oh Sarah like we're never gonna look like that like sorry we'll never be able to like wear that kind of stuff and I was like <sighs> my heart just dropped and I knew I was bigger but it never was like a big deal to me that oh I could look like this forever like I always thought I would lose the weight one day I'd be different one day and that was like very instilled in me but obviously I was overweight for a long time so and then it didn't really affect me a whole whole bunch I just was always um the bigger girl and that was clear to me and I knew that but I still it didn't bother me that much only some days all my friends were smaller so we couldn't like share clothes that bothered me um, when boys and girls start to like like each other nobody liked me because I was like bigger and everyone liked my friends and so that was pretty hard so that was like my childhood it did affect me being a child that was big was hard it was hard because you're different than everybody else you feel like there's something wrong with you all that stuff that people talk about and it's so true like that's exactly how I felt all the time and all my friends were like so likable so pretty so this so that and I was just like so then let's move on to middle school so in middle school is probably when it was the absolute worst I was very big looking back I probably am not as big as I thought I was but I know that I got pretty big toward the very end of like um middle school but the first sixth grade was okay like I knew I was bigger than everybody else everyone was like dating people obviously that wasn't gonna happen for me I kind of knew that but I still liked people you know it's middle school but it didn't bother me that much in sixth grade but in seventh grade that's when it was hard I would just wear an oversized sweatshirt every single day because I couldn't dress cute like I couldn't find cute clothes that would fit me I was like ashamed to go shopping because I would have to I couldn't even shop in the junior section like I was too big I had to shop in the women's clothes which was awful for like a 13 year old like that sucked PE was really hard because I could never keep up with anybody and I would always 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 get a note for running the mile because I knew I just couldn't do it like I was gonna be behind I was gonna be the last one I was gonna have to walk like I hated it I hated having to do that and that's when I think it really just started to bother me is when I wasn't doing everything that everybody else was doing I was also playing sports for the first time it just went bad because I couldn't keep up with anybody and at this point I was like a hundred and 
probably 90 something pounds about 200 pounds almost I don't know I didn't weigh myself I was like too scared <laughs> and then came eighth grade and this is when I was my biggest weight ever and this is also when I decided to change my life around so basically eighth grade I had reached 215 pounds I'm sure I probably gained more than that no I gained <laughs> I probably weighed more than that at one point but um, I specifically remember being 250, 215 pounds at one point. And then I remember I played volleyball and that was really hard because you're wearing the little spandex and then I just didn't feel good about myself. And I remember the jersey, I had to get an extra large size and everyone was like, oh, what size do you want? Like, they're extra big, like, you need, like, a smaller size than you think you do. And I remember we had to say it out loud and I was just like, like, extra large. And she's like okay everyone's like small extra small small extra small like oh uh, god and then we had a trip like a class trip that like if you could pay for it you could go and um this was to go to san francisco and i remember i wanted so bad to be skinny when we went because i knew that everyone was going to be looking so cute and it was going to be hot and um they were going to be wearing shorts and I just wanted to be cute. I wanted to look good, you know? And I lost, like, probably five pounds. And I went and I just still wore a sweatshirt the whole time. And I just felt awful about myself. And then when we came back, that's when I decided, I was like, I am not going to walk into high school and be fat. I am not going to be obese, heavily overweight. I'm not going to do it. That's not going to be what happens to me. So I started using this app called Lose It and I would track my calories all the time. That worked for me for a long time. And then I used to run, we got a treadmill and I would run on there for like an hour a day and burn like 300 calories I think, maybe more. I don't really remember because I don't, I hate running. I don't know why I would do that. But that's what I did and then I walked into freshman year being probably like 170 like I had lost a good 20 something pounds um if I can find pictures of my freshman year I will put them in here but just know I wasn't I was still overweight but I wasn't like obese overweight I was just like mid mid range I don't know what you would call it and then for the rest of my freshman year I I did PE which was a big help I worked out at home I would go on jogs all the time and I ended up losing another I think 20 pounds and then that summer I lost the rest of it to where I was like 145 hundred and I think I was about 140 something almost 150 but a little bit lower but I still struggled a lot because I was still bigger than everybody and because I had been so overweight I carry my weight a lot different than other people so let's just go into current time and the struggle after losing the weight because I almost think that was harder than losing the weight in the beginning but losing all the weight that I had lost I have so many stretch marks so many so 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 many stretch marks and I'm not like ashamed of them the only time where I would feel ashamed of them is when I would go into cheer practice and you could see them or people would notice them and I'm like oh those are like just my stretch marks and people wouldn't say like oh that's bad like that's ugly but you can like tell that they're thinking oh like I hope that I don't look like that like I hope that doesn't happen really deep ones on my my thighs and really really deep ones on like this flabby part of my arm um even where my tattoo is um it goes over some of them but they're super deep on both sides of my arms um i have a lot on my thighs a lot on like my chest and a lot on my lower stomach too basically you're just left with all these reminders of being bigger so then counting calories um, I guess it like triggers me. We would have to do school projects where you have to count calories for like a fitness class to so like it shows you being mindful about like what you eat. We had to do that and I just remember every time I hated it and I dreaded it because it brought back like me restricting myself and me doing this annoying thing which is so pointless because once you are 
once you have a clear mindset of what's good for you, like what's gonna make you feel good and what's not, you don't have to count those calories. I feel like that's so, like, I don't know, every time they made me do that, I like wanted to say no. Some other things that um, losing so much weight had done to me is, well, I probably had this before, but I have um, very deep cellulite all along my butt and all my thighs, the front and the back, and I also have, um, I don't know if it's loose skin or just a lot of, like, fat left, but my legs are still super big. So, that's more of my life now. Like, that's what it left me with. That's what happened. Basically, all together, let me calculate. I don't know how much weight I've lost. I haven't, like, looked in a long time, so... We're just gonna check. And then obviously, I would do these things where I would go vegan, which I started to not lose weight, but to stop eating as bad, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, but yeah. So let's say, I think I probably weighed about 220 pounds. Like that was probably my actual max. And then I weigh about 145 now. So I lost. 75 pounds and this is what came from it so some stuff that still sticks with me that like bigger me had problems with is still the same I often look in the mirror and I feel bigger so basically I just wanted to tell you my story and that I still struggle all the time I still have days where I get really upset because once you lose all that weight and you stop losing weight you almost feel guilty that you're not trying anymore. I just wanted to share this story because I feel like it's a really big part of my life and it's kind of interesting. I probably explained it kind of bad, but at least I tried. <laughs> so thanks for watching. That was my truth. Okay, okay, so I just wanted to show you my stretch marks. So here are the ones on my arm. They're kind of hard to get on camera, but you see them in real life like very easily. Here's my other arm. And I remember getting tatted where the stretch marks was hurt really bad because that skin is really soft and sensitive so that's a fun fact about that and then here's my tummy so i'm actually super insecure about my tummy but i've been working on it and i feel a lot better and basically i don't know if it's loose skin or just weight i have to lose but it's almost like a post-pregnancy belly that's how i would describe it i mean i've never been pregnant but you know up next are pictures of my childhood